Hey, welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. I'm your host, Steph, also known as the Knitting Samurai, and this is my co-host, Roland. Today, he is a blueberry. He's blue head to toe. It is, what is today's date? It is January 27, and it's a rainy Friday here in New Hampshire, and we're just hanging out, the two of us. So, let's jump right into the knitting content, shall we? First up, this week, um, oh, I forgot, I don't have something to show you. No, I don't. Well, let's start with what you've seen before, and then I'll show you what's new. And maybe he'll still be with us, and maybe he won't. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, first up is the spiral blanket. It's, a, well, what I'm calling the spiral blanket. This is the Op Art blanket by Melissa Dominguez. You saw it last week. Um, I think I'm at, like, 20... 26, 28 inches in the diameter at this point. Um, I'm really, I am ready to be done. So you can see it starts with red, goes to the cream, purple, orange, yellow, and then this fuchsia color. Uh, measuring it against some of Roland's blankets, I could have been done about halfway through the fuchsia. Like, I would have been happy with that size. But... I wanted it to end with blue on the edge, so I'm going a couple extra inches. I've already started planning my next one. In fact, I can't wait to get this off the needle so that I can jump into the next one. Um, the This, my finished measurements, I'm not sure what they will be exactly, but this blanket is definitely going to be smaller than what the pattern called for. Yeah. He, Roland likes the spiral. He watches me knit it. Uh, that's the back. <laughs> It's definitely going to be smaller than what the pattern calls for. Yes. Yeah, look, he's a little knitter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, let's get the needles away from you and you can, you can look at it a little bit, huh? Oh, yes, okay. Anyways, um, but I think that the measurements will be big enough. So the blanket itself is supposed to be huge or my stitches or my gauge is off. Who knows? Whatever. I'm using... Um, Lion Brain Cottonese for this, and the main color is the Sea Spray color. I have so far finished off five skeins <clears throat> of yarn on this project, and in order to finish it, because I ran out of the Sea Spray, the teal color, I've purchased four more skeins. So I'm not quite um, ahead of my on my count here, you know, I mean, I'm one, I'm one skein to the good, but I'm not as far along as I would like to be. Can I get that bit of drill for you? There you go, buddy. And, yeah, so that's this, that's the Up Art Spiral Blanket, and I am totally ripping it off the stitches and just winging it around like I don't even care. I do care. I do care. So, this is going to be a baby gift for somebody someday so it's gonna go in the gift box and it's I'm rather pleased with it so there's that um, I think new on the needles this week I don't think you saw it before are the lacy rib socks by Wendy D Johnson oh my goodness is it almost nap time no it's not nap time yet uh, these are knit with opal rainforest I can't say the color here's the back there's what the striping sequence looks like and there's the front the lacy rib pattern i um am knitting these as a gift for someone i you'll remember i cast on a pair knit them so they fit me and then knit the first one so it fit me and then said okay on hold and let me do something else for her so i think she'll like this too it's um it's a very girly color where color with the pale peach and pink and purple and then lace on top of that I'm going to put my hand in it so you can see the stitch pattern a little better. Um, yeah, so it's a very, it's a very girly sock, but I think she'll like it. So, yeah. And I figured out um, for her foot size. Yeah. <laughs> for her, her foot. For her foot 
size. I need to go about an inch shorter in the foot than I do for mine. So. He doesn't really like that sock. He's constantly trying to grab the needle, the cable on it, and yank it because he grabs everything like this. You think this is my collar and he pulls me around by it. Like, short necklaces are his favorite thing. So that's on the needles. Um, I can also tell you, spur of the moment, I cast on something else for the SSK knit along. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to tell you that it's because it's a gift. And I don't really like secret knitting, and I will want to show you my prod, my, I'm reaching over to grab it, my progress as I go along, or probably I'll be done by the next time you see it. You guys got to check this out. This is called Cool Gear. It's an insulated mug. My mom got me a bunch for Christmas. I love them. It's my morning coffee. Yes, he has his, I have my, no, he doesn't have coffee. Um, anyways. So here's what I have so far. I will tell you that it is a Rebecca Danger pattern, and it's a gift for somebody. So um, hopefully I will show you the finished project next week, but or next time I'll record a bit, and then I'll mail it and make sure that the person receiving it gets it before I air the episode, because I'm pretty sure that she watches. So um, doing pretty good on gift knitting there, huh? Yeah, I didn't knit for Christmas, but I'm definitely doing some now. Feeling a little bit generous. Oh my, my top button's unbuttoned. I hope I haven't been flashing you. Bro, what's going on? You stretching a little bit? You holding the monkey? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Gab's a yeah. Um, the copper sweater, copper sweater, copper vest that I was working on for him. Yeah, the vest knit along is totally, I'm not knitting along very well. Mm. But I did set an end date of February 14th for that. So let's all finish up our vests and get the pictures, finished pictures posted in the thread. And um, of those finished projects, I will do random number generator and two prizes. One is going to be a pattern of your choice on Ravelry. And the other one is a skein of Dreaming Color Smushy with Cashmere in the, I think it's called Firecracker colorway. It's very bright, very cheery. So, um, yeah, so the vest I'm working on right now, I did probably another inch. It's not much progress to show, but I am working on it. I am! So that's good. Uh, <laughs> in the mail this week, it was a pretty good mail week, I... Um, joined the three use twisted and fiber I'm gonna say it my way Hiawassee Creek yarn club and my first installment came and I have to be okay. honest with you I saw it and I was like oh no what am I gonna do with that but that's the point of a yarn club it gives you colors and maybe yarns that you would not normally uh. yeah <laughs> colors and yarns that you would not normally knit with and it pushes you outside the box so earlier in the week I was thinking okay um, who can I give this to <laughs> and now later in the week I'm thinking I found the person that I would like that I know will love this yarn but um, she's a knitter so here's the colorway it's called hugs and kisses and I had to look it up on yarn, online. I'm pretty sure it's Twinkle Toes or something like that. It has um, italic in it. So it's a merino nylon metallic base. Uh, the color is, my. I guess my initial reaction was less kind. So there is, um, it's primarily this pretty, pretty purple and then hot, hot pink. Oh my, oh my. Roland, you wanna hold the yarn? Would that be interesting? No, he's not interested in it. So, she's a knitter, the woman that I would like to share this with. And then it occurred to me, well, as a knitter who has a giant stash, she would probably appreciate, rather than getting another skein of yarn, if I knit her something with it. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh my, oh my. Baby boy is all wiggly, wiggling it up. Okay, we'll blaze through this last part. And then, also in the mail this week, 
Um, I received another, or Roland received another knitted gift and some knitted goodness. These are from my friend Figment49 over on Ravelry. She knit in these great little pants. Yeah, do you like the pants, Roland? Do you like the pants? I was saving them to show to you guys and then I will wash them and put them on him. They are, look a little big, but they've got this great drawstring. She does amazing work. They are really beautiful. So, not sure any of the details about them, but I do know that this is seed stitch. And these are really cute little lines and then more seed stitch and ribbing at the cuff. Oh, not ribbing, but um, garter at the cuff. Oh no, the cuff rolls to make it even cuter. So, really adorable little pants for Roland. He will be rocking them out pretty soon. I would say it's a salmon color. So, I don't know, salmon and navy goes well, huh? And I have to say that I didn't think of it, but with all the spit up that he slash babies generally do, pants are a pretty great idea. Like, I was a little worried about saggy butt, but these pants are not going to have saggy butt. They are very substantial. They are heavy duty pants. I really like them. So, thank you very much, Daphne Figment49. Roland will be wearing these soon. You'll be seeing me posting pictures of them somewhere, I'm sure. They're so smushy and soft. I'm going to guess that these are cotton. Something with cotton anyways. But, um, so that came in the mail. And then lastly, um, I bought a magazine. And I thought I'd just quickly review it. I don't know if you've seen it or if any of the other podcasters have talked about it. But it is Knit Simple Knits Plus. What is it? 50 sweaters up to 3x size so it's just a magazine of plus size sweaters and i think i i got it at joann's for nine dollars which is a great price i will say a lot of the patterns are pretty basic and variations on a twist so they start out with a tunic and then they build off it and give you a tunic with this sort of design element and that sort of design element and they change bits and pieces of them to to get you to the full number, but there are definitely some great patterns in here. So the first one I liked was the um, V-neck pullover. You can see, let me see my S. And so that is um, multi-directional, so it looks like it is knit from the top down to here, and then you cast off and pick up stitches and knit from side to side around the body. I really like the multi-directional tone of that. I'm not sure, I'm not too wild about the garter stitch at the top. Maybe make that stocking up for me, but yeah, it was pretty interesting. Roll it, it's, I like the lady on the back! <laughs> um, I also liked the cabled cardigan. Uh, mm, there's that one. Oh yeah, cabled cardigan, yeah! Uh, <laughs> I don't know, something about the way the fabric draped and the cables themselves, like the way they looked a little puckered, it made an interesting textured fabric to me, um, to my eye. And of course, cardigans are slimming because it breaks up the block of color that is your body, depending on how large you are. That's a benefit for us big ladies. So I liked it. And it's a three button at the top, but you could just easily go all the way down with a button. So, yeah, and that one is knit on size 7 needles. And they used blue sky alpaca. Uh, I would not knit a sweater out of blue sky alpaca. I can't afford it, but that's what they did. Um, the next one is scalloped edge top. And that's with Luscious by Collage Yarns and needle size. Oh no, I see spit up. I see spit up. Poor boy. Okay. I know, I know. I'm taking too long reading this roll on. One pair of size twos and a pair of size threes. So it's definitely a fine knit. But I like it. It's nice and cheery. It's a smaller it's a smaller project to finish. Um, I like that it has the buttons at the neck, like that Henley finish, and then the Pico. I'm assuming it's Pico. The scalloped edges and the sleeves, collar, and hem are really, really super cute. So, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a difference of texture around the placket, around the collar. So, 
That one's pretty cool, but size twos and threes, I'm not wild about that. Oh, and then this one, the tweed top, is super fun. It's knit with Donegal Tweed by Tacky, Stacy Charles, Tacky, Tacky, Stacy Charles, I don't know the name's all funny. And this is one pair of US sixes and 11s. So I think it's sixes for the ribbing and 11s for the body of it. I have to say, they, I think the reason I like this is how they've got the model wearing it. It's paired perfectly with that sweater. Like, I, the purple turtleneck underneath and the jeans, that is totally my look. That is, like, what I wear to the office every day, huh, Roland? Um, yeah, and it just looks really fun. And size 11 needles. I don't have this yarn, and I don't know that I would love it if I didn't use the exact yarn, but, man, it is cute! So there you go. And that's the tweed top. Um, and that's all I found. <laughs> but even still, okay, so I just found what, four sweater patterns? Four sweater patterns for nine bucks is a steal. Like, it's definitely worth checking it out if you are a big lady looking to knit a sweater. Looking for love? No. Looking for a sweater. And so I recommend it. Joann's has it. I'm pretty sure your local yarn shop will have it too. And I think I might have said it was Knit Scene. It is not Knit Scene, Roland. It is Knit Simple. I'm just seeing that now. My notes say Knit Scene. I thought I was buying Knit Scene. It's Knit Simple. Ooh. Yeah. So, there you have it. Hopefully I've been in the frame. I wasn't really sure if I would be or not with pulling him up in the chair like this. But... We have run through our knitting for the week. Roland said his piece. He's quite happy wearing his two bracelets. The monkey bracelet. There you go. Um, Linus is chilling with us over here. And I think that's all I've got for you for this time. So, I will see you in the first week of February. I hope you enjoy some knitting between now and then. And do a baby fest. Alright, take care.